Okay, the fur, uh, plant of the day, fern of the day, is this guy, if I can focus. Uh, it's a bit windy and we're in a stream. And I'm here's a little hot spring. And you'll notice the hot spring is going through the fern. The fern's kind of coming out, uh, part of that. And so there's my feet. And there's another very hot, hot spring. But anyway, Adenum uh, Capillus, Capillus uh, Ventus. So that's um, Venus hair. And, let's see. Ooh. Unlike some other species, it has a, a central um, black stem you see there but it doesn't branch out into a fan. Um, really at a loss of what sort of rock this is. Um, but what's kind of neat about this is that this is a tropical fern. You see it as a house plant um, frequently. And the reason that it's here, uh, your way, at a fairly high elevation is because of the hot spring is it's sitting in hot water year-round. Uh, so when it's in the teens and below, blowing through, uh, it's still got its feet warm. But it's a tropical fern. I'm going to take an educated guess at blue here um, by spores. And got established... Um, Looking at the rock, that is, that is, there's some craziness going on there. See more of it. Wish I could say something about the moss. It's never decided to give me fruiting bodies. Uh, there might be some Brian Argentinum right there. Yeah. So, but anyway, I think it's spread throughout um, uh, the world by spores, as do mosses now and again. It could very well be here from a warmer age um, which I tend to think is going to be the Miocene um, but either way this is the well Venus hair if I didn't say that Venus hair maiden hair fern uh, very cute uh, very distinctive like I said this is not this is a way outside the range it normally is it's tropical um, and uh, I think there's some in a hot spring up in Washington State, but uh, we're in the middle of, well, southwestern Colorado. So we're in the middle of Colorado. This is not the best habitat. And what's kind of crazy is this little guy right here. And I'm going to do a video by, about him uh, independently. And that is Epipactus giganta, or gigantea, if you will. Uh, that's actually an orca. And I did not see that. The last time I was here, uh, busy dropping my phone in the river. Um, it did survive, however. So anyway, that is a lovely fern. And you'll find it in uh, canyons and whatnot throughout the southwest. Um, so anyway, Venus hair. Venus hair. Let's see a little bit about this. There's the spores, or ceridia. Um, which are the structures containing the spores. So, but anyway, no snakes, however. Not that I expect to find any snakes. But anyway, there you go. My feet are both wet and warm.